Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Abhinav Shakthivel, and in this video, we are going to start a new playlist on Git. Again, most importantly, this is going to be a very complete playlist from whatever you can see it on YouTube or Udemy. When I started learning about Git, it was very difficult, and it took me a lot of time to learn about Git. And most of the time, I got scared because I couldn't memorize what what's the reason behind certain Git commands. So this playlist is entirely catered to work with Git without using Git commands, right? I'm going to do everything with IntelliJ. Again, you can use VS Code or even Eclipse or any other IDEs to do the same task. Again, there are people who might comment that Git com com commands are really necessary. But I would say as a beginner, if you are starting with Git, uh, even for my advanced Git needs, I always prefer using IntelliJ. Again, as a beginner, it is always good to start with uh, IntelliJ and work with Git. And slowly, you can also learn some of the commands which might be useful for your interviews. Again, the whole part point, what I'm trying to say here is you don't need to get scared because of Git commands. You can really work with IntelliJ or any other IDE to work with Git. Right. So in this video, I'm going to do a few things using Git. Again, I'm not going to dive deep into this, but all I'm going to show is you can do all the tasks without using any Git commands. Uh, you know, so this video is going to be very high level and just to showcase that, you know, you don't need any Git commands to work with Git. So that's the whole agenda here. So I have already my account, uh, github.com. Uh, well, if you don't have an account with you, uh, GitHub account with you, so you can basically do a github sign up and then basically create a github for yourself right you can enter your email it's going to be a very interactive session so you can uh so it's saying you know enter your email you just continue with it you can create your own account right so for now i'm not doing that you can do it so for now let's do few things right with without using intellij so let's create a new repository i want to create a new repository where i can manage all my code so this is going to be Git uh, learnings, right? Uh, something like this. Again, this is the owner, uh, you know, uh, if I have an organization or whatever. So, you know, so the owner name is the account name of the GitHub. So inside this, you basically have different repositories, right? Uh, so the description is uh, Git learnings, whatever. You can give some detailed description about your project. Again, if you want this to be public, you can choose this if you want this to be private and only you can see this you can choose this again if you want an add readme file git ignore template license you can choose this but for now i'm leaving all of them empty right so basically i'm creating an uh created a project in my uh organization and then the project name is git learnings right so normally we cannot directly work work with this right so basically it, it is giving a lot of commands here, which we should don't need at all. So basically, if you just copy this, right? Uh, if you just copy this, you can basically clone this project in your repository, right? So I go up here in my uh, IDE, and then I create a, I want to create a new project, but that's already existing in the version control. I choose this, I choose this. Maybe I'll choose a different folder here. Um, So you can choose different folders, right? And then new project from version control. And then I want to choose a different project. And then I paste this. I'll give a name. Git type on learnings right. and then clone it again. I want to open this in a new window, that's all good now. So, I have my project already here, and then it has git folder, and then it doesn't have any files, right? So, if you want to make some changes to this, you can obviously make them. For example, I want to create a new uh, file, and this file is readme.md, right? And something like this. So I created a file 
I I will add a commit now. So maybe I'll say uh, this is get learning, whatever, right? Welcome, right? So whatever. And then I make the commits. See, again, guys, I'm not using any commands here. Uh, so add, add a readme file, whatever, and commit it. Now I'll just push this back to my main branch, right? So let's push it. So if you guys notice, I didn't use any commands. Again, if you don't understand any of this, that's completely all right, because I'm gonna dive deep into what is remote, what is pulling, what is pushing, and all of the stuff, right? Let's say I wanna create a branch, right? Uh, now the code is, see if you notice, this is a code that we have pushed, and it is here. And you can also create new branches, right? I wanna create a new branch here, uh, demo branch, right? And, and once this branch is here, uh, you can also go here, do a fetch, and then you got all the branches now. So you can see lot all the remote branches. So I want to check out this branch. I want to do some changes again, uh, and then uh, I will add some meaningful commit message, modified readme file, commit it, and then push it. I want to push the push to this branch. So you want to push from this branch to the remote of this branch. Let's push it. Okay, now if you notice this branch, demo branch will have welcome one to three. You can also create a pull request, right? And then you can also merge the pull request, right? So this change from your branch will be now uh, you know, merge to the main branch. If you go to the main branch code, so you can see the one, two, three. So I have done all these things within a matter of few seconds. I didn't type any commands. And this is the beauty of using IntelliJ for or any other ID for your Git needs, right? So even though I haven't covered what is, you know, fetching, what is pulling, what is Git architecture, what is remote branching? What, no, I didn't cover any of that for a purpose just to showcase that you can also work with Git without without having any git commands knowledge right so that's the idea behind this in the coming videos we will learn about git architecture what is branching strategy how we can push and pull code and all other things in detail i hope you have enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe so that you don't miss out on these learning videos thank you guys bye